Hi, uh, I'd like to show you my version of Mr. Carson's capacitor leakage tester. Um, just show you some of the features of it. There's a discharge start button. Press that and it discharges the capacitor for five seconds and then starts. Uh, that's the discharge LED. Green LED for good, uh, red LED for charging up. Uh, reset button, press that, comes up. Mr. Carson's lab, capacitor tester. And um, there's uh, 5, 27 and 15 volts. Click it up to 5. 27 in the middle, 15 down there, off and on button which is not wired up at the moment. Uh, it's on poly and we've got forecast and electrolytic. So uh, that's the uh, USB uh, interface uh, the uh, USB serial adapter for charging the uh, Arduino up. <laughs> Sorry, not charging. <laughs> for programming the Arduino. <laughs> and uh, so that makes it easy for me to uh, program the Arduino. Instead of taking the chip out all the time and programming it and put it back in, I can just program it from there. Makes uh, life simpler. Anyway, I'll just um, show you a few capacitors. Um, as a 22 microfarad uh, 400 volt capacitor, just connect the send uh, leads to it. Uh, it's in for it's in forecast at the moment, so I'll just go down to the uh, poly setting. So in the poly setting, the lead is uh, the, the sense lead is not sensitive, obviously. Um, anyway, <coughs> that's in the that's in the electrolytic position. So, um, so as soon as I touch this lead onto the, onto that terminal, it will reset itself. So, anyway, so uh, I'll just connect the lead. That's it. Comes up good. Uh, this discharge start button. If I press that it will discharge and then restart uh, which I do this more or less every time so do you see the the button light up then the uh, the, the LED light up it takes about 8 seconds uh, for this so if I press this discharge button you'll see the LED light up as it's discharging there you are so it takes eight seconds for that to uh, go through the uh, process. If I put this on forecast now, this capacitor will leak a little bit. After about, uh, a, um, well, I'll do it and show you. Uh, so that comes up eight seconds good. So I'll click on to forecast. Uh, it doesn't take long for it to leak, about 30 seconds or so, 40 seconds. Come on, I know you want to do it. There are it's starting to leak now. It's uh, charges going, uh, charges leaking. Obviously, if I put it in the poly position, uh, it still shows leakage. It's a bit more charge in the poly position, but it's still not enough to uh, show that good, unless I put it in the electrolytic position, and then obviously it's a bigger charge and it 
tops the capacitor up with more charge and the charge exceeds uh, the leakage so uh, so that's that one I I'd, I'd have to try that against a brand new one actually uh, to see what the, the new one would give because that one is that one's fairly old uh, I, mean, I don't think I've used it, but it's fairly old. So uh, anyway, let's uh, let's go on to the next one. Uh, that's a 400 pf uh, micro capacitor. That one's uh, it's a fairly old capacitor, but these are really good. Um, I'll put that on the forecast position and uh, connect up. Obviously the. The sense lead is um, so I'm touching it. The sense lead is very, very sensitive, obviously. So uh, anyway, so as soon as I touch that, anyway, I'll just connect it up. So I'll hold the other lead. So I just get that out of the way. So it's a bit awkward. So here we are again. So it, it, it's in the forecast position. Uh, because it's uh, been detecting the resistance, it's come up five seconds. But I, I know for a fact that's not right. So we'll reset it again, and we'll try again. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, detecting that comes up one second for that. In the forecast position, 27 volts. I oh, know that's that's a good capacitor. That's uh, it's an old one, but it's good. Uh, this is a poly or whatever. So uh, this is a one microfarad capacitor. Connect this up. So right, I'm touching the sense lead all the while. Just keep my hand off it. Uh, reset it. Uh, that's in forecast. So it's in poly now. So this is a one microfarad capacitor. I know for a fact that uh, this is going to take a, a fair bit of charging on the poly setting. Um, well, I say a fair bit. I'm not sure how that, exactly how long it will take. But uh, we'll just speed it up. We'll just speed things up a bit. Because it's a one microfarad capacitor, I'll just go on to the electrolytic. There we are. Discharge. One second. You know. I know that's a good capacitor. So, um, that's brand new, that one is. This capacitor here. This is a 0.22 microfarad capacitor. Make it up, just take the end off the sense load. We'll try it in the poly. Press the uh, discharge start button. Three seconds. Discharge start button. Three seconds. Put it on the forecast. Take take a bit longer, but not too long. I've tried capacitors uh, to about 100 pf. 100 pf, you're all right. Uh, anything below 100, and uh, you don't get much of a reading because I suppose the capacitors charge up that quick. That uh, it's not detectable. Not unless you really modify the uh, the sensitivity of the box. 
Um, so I'll just get rid of these capacitors here. Uh, so that's uh, that's my take on the uh, capacitor. Um, I'm thinking of uh, altering it a little bit. So I'm thinking of doing it so um, I can do away with the poly and the forecast and the le electrolytic switch. Uh, so w when you connect a capacitor to it, it automatically detects what capacitor there is it, that, that the, that's connected. And it'll alter the charge rate accordingly. Uh, fancy having a little go at that. Um, probably needs to go in another box. This is a a box that's been used for another circuit there, which is this one. That fits in that box. Uh, that's a uh, LM th LM three nine one four. Is it the LM three nine one four N, which which fits in that? I've added in that box, which works. Which works fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, that's the circuit. The Atmega three two eight P dash per U few modifications in there uh, so um, oops, right there. So anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed that little video uh, I'll probably post some more pictures and details and things and, uh, and especially the update I do and whatever and uh, like to hear your comments uh, it's not a perfect video by all means but um, you know it gives some insight into uh, what I'm doing and uh, I like to read you I like to hear uh, your feedback thank you very much see you next time